One of the biggest benefits to using Sheet Set Manager is that you can batch print an entire set of drawings. Start the Sheet Set Manager and let's open up our manufacturing sheet set list. Now, printing is very easy and you can go about it several different ways. You can come up here and click on the publish button. Now, if you click on the arrow here, you get all these different options. And this is going to publish your entire set if you do it this way. And that's perfectly fine. And you can also get to that just by right clicking on any one of these files, the sheet set itself, an assembly, or anything. So if I right click, and I go to publish. And then I have several different options. I can publish to a DWF file, DWFX, to a PDF. I can publish the drawings to a plotter on my network or my computer. I can publish them using a page setup override. Now this is one of my favorite options right here. Well, you have to set it up ahead of time though. To do that, go to your sheet set properties and you go to the page setup overrides file. Now this is a template file that you have set up somewhere that has page setups already created in it. So you just set up your network printers, you set up your laptop, your computer, whatever it is you're working from, and whatever printers you have access to, you set up those printers and page setups in that file and you can reference them. Doing this allows you to completely ignore any page setups in any file that you're going to work with. So this is a great option to use when you're working with someone else's files. Let's say you're a civil engineering firm and an architect has sent you some CAD files for the buildings and maybe some of the layouts and you need to print those as well. Or a plumber or a landscape architect has given you files and you need to print them. Well, you don't have the same printer they do. It's not set up exactly the same way. You need it to work on an 11 by 17 printer and not a 24 by 36 you know, or something like that. Well, you can use these page setup overrides as if they were page setups created already. So you set it up once and forget it, and you just use that one all the time. So that's a really cool option. It's one I like myself. So you just figure out what you want to publish and how you want to publish it. Click the publish button and click on whatever it is you want to use. If it's published PDF, click that option, and it will bring up what looks like just your regular printer settings. So if you've ever printed an AutoCAD file before, you can. So in this case, I'm making a PDF file. I just find my location of wherever it is I wanted to save it and click select. And AutoCAD goes about publishing your drawings to a PDF. Now, if you have it set up to publish in the background, it will, so that you can keep working while this is creating a PDF file. Or you just have to sit and wait until the entire process is finished, and then you can go about your business. Either way, you want to work is perfectly fine. So this one's going in the background, so it's going to work in the background. I can tell also by this little icon down here, it says publish job in progress. That means it's working, it's publishing it. So there are some things you can do if you have drawings set up in here that you don't want published. You can go to a subset, right click on it. So you right click on publish and you go down to publish sheets in subset. Now this by default is it's going to include it. But if I do not include, I click that button. And you can see this little icon here, it looks like a little printer with a slash through it. That means when I go to print my entire set, everything will print except for these drawings in my assemblies. So that's a great way to keep something from printing. Maybe they aren't finished yet and you don't want them to print. Or maybe they don't need to be submitted with this particular set of drawings. So you can turn that off so you don't accidentally click it. And that's perfectly fine. Now, of course, you have that setting available to you on a sheet by sheet basis. Just right click on the sheet go to publish and go to include for publishing yes or no and I'm going to say no so it won't print now it doesn't give you a visual like it did up here in the assemblies which is unfortunate so you just have to be careful with that if something doesn't print and you're not sure why you need to check this out and see if that's it and make sure that you can publish it that's something that's happened to me before and it's kind of funny when it does afterwards of course now, if you want to publish something, you can also just select the exact sheets you want to publish. Just find the ones you want, hold down the control key, and just select whatever files it is that you want to print. So you've selected them, right click, and go to your publishing, just like you normally would. Now you see here in our publishing options here, we have a lot of different things to choose from. You can publish them in reverse order. You can put a plot stamp on it. And of course, you can go to all those settings right here as well. So those are very cool things that you can do. Now, if you have your page setups, you can go to manage page setups right here. That will take you to your template file and you can manage the page setups right here, or you can create new ones, import them, 
modify them, whatever it is you want to do. So that's great. Now you can see here, my plot job finished while we were working. And so now that PDF has been created. So that's very useful as well. Now you can also e-transmit these drawings. It works very similarly to publishing, but this is a really cool thing that you can do. You can use that for sending files to someone. It'll make sure that it grabs everything you need to send that file so that someone else can use them. Now, if you like to use the publisher, you can. If you come down here to the publish dialog box and click on that, that'll bring you into the publisher and you can print everything just like you normally would from the publisher right here. So you can see sheet sets are very valuable when it comes to publishing or printing your drawings. A lot of the tools are right here that you can use and that you might need in order to print your drawing set.